In this video, I'm going to show you how to just stop overgiving and how you can rebalance that energy to attract higher level love and more romance into your life. For the best advice on manifesting your soulmate, be sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell so that you get notified every single week when I upload a new video on Thursdays. Hi everyone, I'm Diana Palm, your love attraction specialist, and I've helped thousands of individuals increase their love vibration and manifest their highest potential soulmate. And now it's your turn. If you have ever enticed somebody into spending time with you because of your sports car, your boat, your house, or the money that you're gonna spend with them on vacation, then you're literally attracting them to your money and things instead of you. You're not showing up authentic and attracting somebody to truly love you and who you are. Many people do this. I hear it all the time. In fact, a few seconds into conversation with a new man, he'll be telling me about the boat he just bought or the motorcycle he wants to take me on or some other enticing thing that he is using to lure me into him. That is a huge, huge turnoff for me because I'm surrounded by that. And most people recognize that when somebody's laying it out there like that, throwing things out there to entice you, to flaunt them, to attract you to them based on their things, that deep inside, they're probably not feeling enough to spend time with you one-on-one. -on -one. And they literally need all those things to make them feel more important, to elevate their self-worth. Now, I'm not saying that I don't enjoy it. Of course, I enjoy motorcycles, boats, hot air balloons. I enjoy all kinds of active things. I like to have fun but none of those things attract me to a man. So when you're showing up, if you're a male trying to get a female's attention, throwing it out there by laying your property and assets on the line to try to entice attraction from her is absolutely the wrong way to go. It's gonna be so much more effective for you to actually get to know her by asking, inquiring questions about what's important to her, who she is, and what matters most. Being a good listener increases your value with a woman and you'll find that you don't have to overgive or show up with a big flashy show to get her attention. Females can also overgive in relationship and where this usually shows up is when women begin to parent their mate. They start to mother them, they start to boss them around, set rules, baby them, nurture them, and totally emasculate their partner. Now, sometimes life requires it. If you have somebody who's showing up like a child, it evokes that maternal response in a woman to start to parent and the energies get really off. Nowadays, there are far more successful women and I find that they tend to do the same thing that men used to do. Instead of showing up with the boats and cars and motorcycles, they may actually have positioned themselves very well in their career field and may be able to offer a male a position or network him with very important people that it literally took her a lifetime in her career to meet and build relationship with. When you do this for a partner and they know they didn't deserve it and it's not an equal exchange, it really throws off the energy. It feels like you're doing a favor and that you're really helping someone out. But what you're really saying to them is you're not enough and neither am I, but I can offer you this position to elevate you and perhaps you'll see my value and stay with me. Now, it doesn't matter if you're in a same sex couple or if you're a male female couple, when one party starts to overgive in the relationship, it's usually because one party has lost interest and they're starting to either wander or not pay enough attention. And one person gets triggered into feeling like they're gonna get left behind. So they begin to over give. They're trying to draw their partner back to them. They're trying to reestablish that connection instead of releasing and understanding that there's a rhythm in relationships. There's a natural ebb and flow. And sometimes it is time for a relationship to end. If you find yourself that you're in this point within a relationship, Overgiving will not make them stay with you. They'll take the gifts and they'll begin to resent you because they feel that the energy dynamic is off balance and they're not stupid. They know that you're literally buying them. And maybe if the gift is enticing enough, 
they're willing to stay a little longer. But it is not the energy of love. In fact, it actually feels like you're buying them to spend time with you. They know it, you know it, and it's just not healthy. Now, it's very, very different if you're in a loving relationship. If it's very harmonious and balanced, you're coming together with a mate, you have the similar goals and dreams, and you're both building a life together, and both of you are equally giving back and forth to each other. That's when giving is balanced. Overgiving happens when there's already a void to fill within the relationship, and it will never, ever fix that void. When a woman overgives to a male, he can actually feel emasculated and begin to lose his sexual drive. It literally changes the dynamics of the relationship. So as much as you have to control yourself from overgiving, please do. It will benefit you in the long run. If you still feel that compulsive need to give to somebody, give to yourself, darling, give to yourself. Put more effort and attention into yourself. Buy some beautiful things for yourself. Treat yourself to something that you've always wanted to do. For many people, their love language is gifting, but you really can use that to gift yourself. Increase your self-value, your self-love, and allow your partner to come to you in an equal energy, which will really help to keep your relationship balanced. When you refrain from overgiving, you allow yourself the opportunity to attract authentic love. And it's time. You deserve it. If you can relate to overgiving in a relationship, I would love to hear how it worked for you or against you. Leave that down in the comments below. And if you're interested in increasing your self-confidence so that you can show up without that compulsion to overgive, be sure to set up a private session with me at www.dianapalm.com. I also have a free Manifesting Your Soulmate guide down below in the comments. Hit that link to download yours today. It will give you three easy steps to help you heal your heart, raise your love vibration so that you can attract and manifest your soulmate. If you like this video, be sure to give me a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Thank you so much for being here, everyone. I can't wait to help you fall in love.